My name is Chad Collins, and I've had the opportunity to coach the Spencer County Middle School academic team for the past nine years. I, along with coaches Michelle Groves and Sarah Parnell, had the opportunity to work with our kids through another successful season this school year. And I wanted to take this chance to put a spotlight on the hard work these kids are doing on the academic team, as well as their success at this year's Governor's Cup competition. I also wanna put the spotlight on how staff in our school and our district have supported the growth of the academic team and how they've supported the kids in their now seven year run of back-to-back -back district championships. First, I'd like to give a little bit of background information about the academic team competitions. If you're not familiar, the Kentucky Association for Academic Competition, or KAAC, has been a staple in our state since 1985. They now advertise having over 1,100 public and private schools participating in events that represent 30,000 students. Each year, they run a variety of academic competitions in our state, culminating in the KAAC Governor's Cup, where schools across the state come together to compete in a variety of academic-focused events in all of the different subject areas. The way that events are structured allows a lot of students to display their knowledge. You may be a student that loves to read, so your deep knowledge of books may help you be great at testing in language arts. We have students working way ahead of what is expected for their grade level in math, so they get a chance to show what they know in math events. Even having really specific knowledge in areas like architecture, mythology, or obscure history can pay off. If you are a student who is passionate about a particular subject and you're willing to work hard, you may have a place on the academic team. What we've found is that Spencer County Middle School is host to a lot of these students. And as of this year, the team grew to have over 90 students involved with the team. Our program is unique as SEMS is one of only a handful of middle schools in the state that builds in a class that all academic team students attend for fifth period every day of the week. In this way, students get to practice and learn about subjects they choose for an extra class each day, and then stay after school and dive even deeper into their topic during practice. This means that a lot of students are getting an additional two hours of focused learning each day in the subjects that they care about. And this translates to students doing truly amazing things in those areas of study. all the opportunities and being able to learn more because we do academic projects um, which kind of like gives you more knowledge I feel like because you have to go out of your comfort zone. Well for studying for said quick recall stuff and just the testing in general I've kind of just made myself two years ahead when it comes to my subject categories I'm good at. Uh, for me it gives like a new perspective on things, just looking at things from a different angle and being able to participate in other activities. These groups of SCMS students have built a tradition of success, evidenced by them winning their district tournament again this year. This marks the seventh consecutive district championship win in a row for Spencer County Middle School. For the last six years, SCMS students won the championship against Bardstown Middle School, Bloomfield Middle School, and Mount Washington Middle School. This year, we were moved to a new district, so we got to freshen things up by winning the championship against Anderson County Middle School, Shelby County West Middle, and Shelby County East Middle. Our surrounding counties see us as the school to beat, and when I talk to other coaches in the past, I've often found they're amazed by how many kids we have participating, and the fact that our school actually supports them with a class that they can attend each day. I wanna call out specific student successes and put the spotlight on some individual students who prove that the SCMS academic team doesn't just win, they succeed in every category. At our district competition, the quick recall team took first place and students Drew Dwyer, Noe Lopez, Evan Knight, Jaden Mikesell, Earl Rose, JJ Arnold, Paxton Hagen, Nate Blanford, James Aberly, and McKinley Pollock made that win happen. The future problem solving team took second place with Kayla Klaus, Parker Vines, Ainsley Brakefield, and Lily Arby advancing in a tough category. SCMS also took home medals in every subject area in the competition. In mathematics, second place, Drew Dwyer. Third place, Lee Logston. In science, first place, Ainsley Brakefield. Second place, Noe Lopez. Fifth place, Noah Hillary. In social studies, first place, Jaden Mikesell. Fourth place, Evan Knight. In language arts, fourth place, Parker Vines. Fifth place, Addie Schindler. 
In Arts and Humanities, first place, Parker Vines, fifth place, Ainsley Brickville. In Composition, second place, Zilly Schwartz, third place, Hadley Roberts. In order to win a district championship, you have to pull points from just about everywhere, and students pulled points in quick recall, future problem solving, and every subject area. Next, I want to kind of zoom the spotlight in. Three students in particular need to have the spotlight shown on them for progressing through a gauntlet of challenges to represent SCMS at the State Governor's Cup at the Galt House in Louisville. In order to make it to this level, you have to test against students from a huge list of public and private schools in our region. Jaden Mikesell qualified to represent SCMS at State for Social Studies. He scored a top 10 score in the entire state at the region level and placed in the top 20 out of all the middle school students in the entire state of Kentucky. Noah Hillerick represented SCMS also, demonstrating what he's learned in his classes and in study and scoring highly at the state level in the science competition, taking what he learned in a subject he cares about to the absolute top level of competition. Ainsley Brakefield was one of a small set of students in the whole state who qualified to represent a school in two areas at this level. Ainsley represented SCMS by scoring highly in both science and arts and humanities, showing that our students can have a high depth of knowledge in two totally different subjects that they care about if they work hard enough. These three students, along with their other eighth grade peers, will be moving on to the high school where Coach Ashley Singh has built a program that is finding yearly success too. And we can't wait to hear about what they do in the future. It's also important that we shout out the next generation of competitors as several students in the sixth grade brought home medals to represent SCMS at their sixth grade showcase competition. Placing in science, we had Christian Travis, Ben Blankenship, and Aiden Vaught. Placing in language arts, we had Sydney Spotsler. Placing in arts and humanities were Chloe Curran and Cambry Cox. Placing in written composition, Briley Harmon, Caitlin Rawlings, and Maddie Pierce. We hope that all students who participate in the academic team find opportunities to keep learning and growing. And that through our program, we show them that going above and beyond pays off in the long run. Next, I wanna shout out some of the school staff that make the academic team possible each year. All staff that sponsor activities, sports, clubs, and any team of any variety know that it helps to have school buy-in and help from others at every level. From day one, the students and I have had help from people all over Spencer County Middle School. And it is this assistance at all levels, along with the drive that the students have, that makes our team both unique and successful. We are extremely blessed to have administrators that care about the academic team. I've talked to coaches in other counties where they have no buy-in, no support, and are almost entirely on their own. Mr. Mercer is an example of an administrator that has always displayed 100% buy-in to supporting the academic team. I believe the first conversation I ever had with him was him asking me what I needed for the team and helping to plan a goal for what the SCMS academic team could be in the future. At the time, I was new to teaching and coaching and he was 100% willing to listen anyway. He's been a constant advocate for the academic team and has not just supported, but worked with coaches to try out whatever crazy ideas we brought to the table. He supported and helped us make the academic team a daily class and then let us grow that class to have a teacher and a coach at every grade level. SCMS has a lot of things to celebrate and I always feel like he's put special emphasis on celebrating what our kids do each season. Admin support continued elsewhere. When Mrs. Butler was our assistant principal, she and our current assistant principal, Mrs. Demian, were always willing to work with our weird scheduling requests that often happened at all parts of the school year. Scheduling is often a logistical nightmare, and both of them were 100% fine with us constantly throwing another wrench in the process. And they were willing to sit down with coaches and discuss how we could work something out, who would be available to help us make something happen, and all the general behind the scenes planning stuff that helps things actually come together. Elizabeth Hinton deserves the absolute loudest shout out the team can give for her support of gifted students in Spencer County Schools and her constant support for the academic team. She does an incredible amount for academic competitions in our district, serving as the coordinator for all academic team events. These Governor's Cup events require an incredible amount of time and planning, and she spends many of her Saturdays in the spring setting up and running these extremely complex events. 
She also serves well over 300 students requiring GT services between Spencer County Middle and Spencer County High School, traveling between both schools to serve the needs of our gifted population. She somehow does all of this while running academic competitions herself, taking students to Quiz Bowl and running groups like the Beta Club and probably a million other things I'm forgetting. If you see Elizabeth Hinton, please individually thank her for going above and beyond what's expected. The team would also like to thank Rhonda Cox for taking the time to work with our written composition students before competition. Writing is one of the most complex events in academic team and having someone to directly review writing with students is helpful and it paid off for our kids very, very nicely this year. I also really wanna thank Sean Bynack. Uh, he teaches eighth grade math at the middle school and he's often had academic team students in his class to work with him on higher level math. But last year he stepped up and filled the role as the teacher for the entire eighth grade academic team class while also simultaneously working with other students doing other things for their reading class in the same class period. His flexibility and willingness to help allowed us to keep things going last year, and the team really, really appreciates that. I also wanna thank all the teachers at Spencer County Middle School. Their dedication to already wanting to take kids to their highest possible potential makes working with those same kids on the academic team a blast. These kids are already getting support on advanced content in their core classes and their electives. So when they come to us, they are already ahead of what is typically expected for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. They also do a great job at helping us identify students who would be a good fit for the team and provide recommendations and feedback when we ask them if they think students would be a good fit. We can't thank the teachers enough. I also wanna say thank you to my fellow coaches, Michelle Gross and Sarah Parnell, both of them spend a huge amount of time planning and executing the things that make this team a success. From planning activities, facilitating other competitive events like math counts, planning field trips, designing curriculum, and testing students, they do a lot of work to make this work each year. Finally, I wanna thank the parents and guardians of the academic team students. We ask a lot of them and appreciate the time that they spent transporting students to events all across our region often extremely early, and often early on Saturday mornings. It's your support for the academic team, as well as your support for these kids and the things that you have done to help foster a love for learning that really, really needs to be celebrated. In closing, we can look at student success a variety of ways. You can put a number to it, looking to something like MAP scores. Kids on the academic team are coming in with higher scores to begin with, but these higher scores aren't going to continue to grow unless they're supported with content that continues to provide them with new paths of learning. The academic team is just one avenue for them to continue pursuing growth. Let's keep building on things that allow them that opportunity. We can look at success in competitive events and see Spencer County rising higher and higher in academic competitions, sports, drama, band, choir, the arts, etc. Spencer County students keep finding more success in various areas every year, so let's keep giving them more opportunities for it. Um, I liked going to the Math Counts competition. It kind of like got to use like team building and you got to like see how other schools are. Uh, my favorite thing about being on the academic team is going to competitions and I love watching, even if I'm not on the Quickly Build team, I love watching the Quickly Build team. Um, I like learning new things. Um, we have some fun field trips and we get to go on competitions, so that's pretty fun. Like if I'm doing arts and humanities, I love arts and humanities and it really helps me because if I'm going to be an artist one day, I can study all of these paintings and know like what type of painting to do and which textures to do. Okay, I'm a very competitive person and I like the competitions a lot and it gives me more to do.